Hi friends, in this tutorial we will see how to write unit test cases for Apache Camel. For this I am going to take a reference of my website javainews.com, go to the Apache Camel section, standalone Apache Camel examples. This is the tutorial that we are going to implement Apache Camel unit testing. So this is the project that we are going to create. Uh, in one of the previous tutorial, Apache Camel and ActiveMQ we had developed an application using Apache Camel and ActiveMQ. You can go through this tutorial here. So uh, what we had done was uh, we used to send a message from the file system to the JMS queue. So in our uh, current tutorial we are going to write the test case for this particular route. We'll go back to the tutorial Apache Camel unit testing. For writing the test cases, we are going to make use of the Camel Spring test support which is provided by Apache Camel. So it, our test cases, they are going to extend the Spring Camel Spring test support. So let's begin with the implementation part. Go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Next, we'll be adding the dependencies. So, we'll be adding the camel test spring dependency here for writing the test cases. And other than this, there is a JMS and the ActiveMQ dependencies. So, copy this. Next, we'll be defining the simple route builder class where we'll uh, define uh, the route that is from the starting point to the end point. Also here we have used placeholders. In the previous examples we have never used placeholders here but here we have uh, used uh, placeholders for defining the endpoints of the route. So we have defined the uh, endpoints uh, here in the dot properties file camel dot properties file. Uh, we have done this because uh, while writing the test cases we will have to mock these endpoints. So it is important that we uh, use placeholders here. So let's create this class. Next, we define the XML configuration for uh, defining the ActiveMQ component. Also we have defined the camel context in which we load the route builder that we have just written and also we load the uh, camel.properties file in which we have defined the placeholders. So let's create this file. In the source main resources create a file. So I'll name this as camel-context dot xml next we'll define the camel dot properties file here Finally, we'll define the main class where we'll load the camel context file that we have just defined. So we are done here with all the coding changes now. Uh, start the active MQ and we'll run this as a Java application to start the camel. So here we can see that it has established the JMS connection. So 
uh, our ActiveMQ started, so go to the ActiveMQ URL localhost colon eight one six one. Go to the queue section. So here we can see that we can see the queue that we have just created. So what is happening here is that it has twelve messages. So what our route is doing is from the C inbox folder. We have this client DB file here. It is uh, splitting this file and then sending the contents to the active MQ. So our uh, application is working properly till here. So now we'll start uh, writing test cases for this particular application. So let's begin with the test cases. For writing the test cases, we are going to create uh, three new files. One is the simple route builder test, in which we'll define the test cases. The other is the camel context .xml and the camel properties file that we'll be defining in the uh, test resources folder. So the camel context uh, .xml it will be similar to the one that is there in the source main resources folder. The only difference will be that it will be loading the camel properties in the test resources folder. So here the endpoints that we have defined these will be the mock endpoints. So uh, in our route we can mock the endpoints and we can write the test cases for them accordingly. We'll see how this is done as we proceed. Let's create this class. We'll define the camel context. will not be requiring the active MQ component here because we are not going to make use of the queue here because we are going to mock the endpoint so delete that part and delete this part from the tutorial sometime later So what we have done here is that first using the abstract application context we are going to load the camel hyphen context file in the source test resources folder. Also here we have defined the mock endpoint mock out uh, as the mock colon out. So if you will see in the uh, camel dot properties folder the route end we have defined as mock colon out. So whenever it our endpoint it will reach here our message then it will be the end of the route and uh, we'll check. Uh, for some expected message count here. So uh, here we have uh, said that uh, the expected message count it should be 1. So here in using template body we are going to send to direct colon in. This is the other uh, mocked endpoint route uh, dot start we have defined as direct colon in. So when we start run this test case it will send this is test to direct colon in then uh, this will be splitted uh, using new line but since this is a single line only one message will reach mock colon out and this is what our expectation is set as so let's run this test case so we can see here that our uh, test case it has passed successfully uh, hope you have understood this tutorial the source code for this it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.